but I don't know if what I did was correct. Okay, I will check with because, you. But okay, uh, yeah. But let me let me first tell you um, uh, one information that um, I, I mean this is a series of information that I would like to pass to you. Um, every class. This is a little information. This okay. is not a, a, a heavy theoretical part. Uh, but if you are, I mean, when you when you go to the um, to the market, when you going to search for a job or or even work as a freelance, this is the terms and yeah. things that uh, you only need somebody who really interact with this uh, market before. Uh, so sometimes it's not given uh, within the syllabus of your. Uh, University even. So uh, have a look at me with me here. So okay, uh, there is there is two things that you you could uh, face or deal when you are dealing with software, especially the source code. So when you write a code, um, and this is this code is is like a solution for a problem or for a project, we call that yeah. lines of Java a source code. So this source code. Yeah have two definitions and um, so all the software in the whole world is is uh, divided into two categories something called closed source and something called open source so closed source i think yeah. you have dealt with most of the software that um, uh, like microsoft like video games mobile applications that you deal with every day uh, this is a closed yeah. source you never know the source code of that um, application so you never know how they really build that software okay yeah so you only can use it you are not allowed even to uh, make something called reverse engineering do you know what's the mean reverse engineering like finding the root uh, finding the how, whatever program uh, finding the source how yeah, yeah what is the source code of that and replicating the, the same software again when you discover the source code so okay what we said there is a closed source and then there is something called open source. Open source means that you are able to so search on the internet, spe specifically a certain website that I will share with you now. So people share, people tend to share their open source uh, code all over the internet for popularity and for, for proving to their um, future or potential employers that they are a capable person, that they are able to write a good software. Um, so th that is part of of it. You, you need your your reputation actually decide how how much your your price or how much is your salary. So uh, that's why people tend to uh, to always publish their software that they write. Okay. Now listen to me. So the open source yeah. have certain problems. So if you work in a company and then you said, oh. That is a big project that I need to write in a short amount of time. I don't have the time to actually write all this code. I would like to search for an open source code to copy from big parts of my project so I can deliver it fast. Okay. Yeah. Then if you don't understand what you are doing, you put yourself and your company in a big problem. Because although certain um, software that you can able to find, especially on this website, which is called GitHub, Okay, so GitHub yeah. is full of free software that you can copy and use. But you need to understand the consequence. The consequence is you need to look, let me let me uh, try to use my pen here. Okay, you need to look at the license where the owner of the so software is putting along his software. So he will put yeah. the source code in Java and then he will tell you yeah. this source code is in one of these three possible licenses. The most restrictive one is a GNU, General Public License, yeah. or the, the yeah. GPL. So this one is, do you know before? Do, have you seen Have you seen that term before? Or did you deal with it before? No. So this GPL, if you see it, then I don't recommend that you use it, especially if you are dealing or building a software for your company. Because if you, yeah. if any of this software touch your company software, uh, the owner of this software are illegal to ask you for the final source code of your project. 
So imagine mm. most of the companies, when they are building a software, they are they would like to keep the software as a secret. This is the 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 how to say the power of rice for 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 them. They, they, this is how they yeah. earn money. So they build the software. People use the program as a final program, but they, but they don't know how to build it. But then, if you use any of this code that is shared on the internet um, with a GPL license, it entitle you. It tell you you must release your any modification or any copy of this software um, to the owner and to everybody. So it means that your software does not become secret anymore. Okay, but then mm. what, what other options? The other option is the Apache license. If you use the Apache license, you, you no, don't need to actually um, disclose the final source code of your project. You don't, mm. if you modify the software that you write, because most of the time when you copy a software, you have to modify it. Okay, what did you do when we have a new requirement? You go to certain parts of the old code that we write, you modify it, you copy it, you modify it, and then tell me, oh, this is your new method. You, you do that every time, right? Yeah. So why you do that? You want to save time, right? You don't want to rewrite yeah. the, uh, the software from scratch, right? So the same yeah. point here. If you use the Apache license, you can copy the source code, you can modify it, make it fit to your purpose, put it in your the whole project that you're going to deliver for your company, and you don't need to yeah. disclose the source code. So if you uh, are forced to search for such a software, search for Apache license software, okay? So okay. where you can search for a typical open source software, GitHub. So if I say Google like that, oops, no, Google, oops, okay. Google, I would say, go here, say, Get up. Um, let me see. What should I see? Um, wait. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, medical project, for example. So you see here, medical project. You go to it. Uh, e healthcare. You choose one. So this is. Wait. I would like to choose choose something in Java. Wait. Let me go back. I say Java. Okay, medic. And then let me go to this project. Yeah. Let me see. So the language that you write it in is totally 99% Java. So this is the code that actually was written totally in Java. Okay. So this is totally a medical software that is, of course, it's so advanced. And you see, Actually, it is not a simple software. It's a real medical software, okay? And that mm. deal with medical things, okay? So they have a GUI, they have many things. If you would like to search for uh, the source code, I believe, let me let me look here. Let me see if there is any Java files that we can find. Main, uh, let me look here. Uh, ABI, you see, message.java. So this is basically a Java file, you see? This is typically a Java file, okay? Yeah. Of course, uh, of course, that is um, so advanced and you are not yet prepared to, to really go and really try to understand because this is a complex one. But, but there is more simpler one. I searched for a, um, a complex one to tell you that actually this software is ready to be included part of a, a real project. Actually, it, it is itself a real project. If you take it, and you check the license that it's distributed as, then you are able to see if you are really able to use it in your software or even can learn from it. So if you cannot use it, you can learn from it. So have a look here. Yeah. We look at the license. Let me see if they put the license. Uh, typically, they should put license, ah, EPL. So, uh, or license Apache. So license Apache, it means that, do you see here? You see it here, right? Can yes. you see? So when I see that, okay, it means that I'm able to copy part of this software and modify it and use it in my project without the need to reveal my final project to them. So that is something good. I can learn from it. I can even use it. Okay. So yeah. this GitHub is actually a big source of um, uh, source code. Uh, either it is yeah. Java, Python, any other language. Okay. 
uh, a lot of people can learn from it. You can create a free account. You can publish your software. Uh, you can start to keep pushing your software in. That will, by time, give you um, uh, privilege on other people because not, not everybody start to do that um, very fast, especially in your age. In your age, I, I would say maybe only 1% of the people would push the software and, and start to have an account there. Uh, typically, people start to realize that after they graduate, not before they, they even study, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, now, uh, I, I stop here. I am not going to continue on that uh, theoretical information. Let's continue on our um, uh, learning path. So, okay, are you able to share your software and let me see how it go with you? Okay. Oh, one second. Okay. Sure. Yep. May I ask you until I'm able to see your screen? Uh, did you understand yeah. anything from what I shared with you just now? Uh, yeah, or, I could understand. Uh, uh, was it hard? Is it complicated? Uh, not really. Okay. Did you at least know um what could what is the possible um. Uh, um, types or categories of the software that is shared or, on the internet? Mm. You know, you, you are able to, to understand that. Uh, like 50-50. 50-50, okay. Can, yeah, I can understand, but not like in depth, not so 100%. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. But, but at least if you see that topic again, you, you will say that, okay, I am, I got some Little knowledge yeah. about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Some some of the universities and some of uh, my my um, students in US and UK, their their schools actually uh, force them to put the software on GitHub. But uh, maybe in Malaysia, it's not it's not so popular. Okay. Now yeah. share with me. Mm -hmm. Okay. But did we build a class here? Yeah, that was my issue. Okay, and that was your issue. What is the last class that we ever built here? Student class, right? Yeah. Okay, are you able to make a copy from that student class? Yeah. And uh, call it Biggie Bank. Duplicate, yeah. Then you want me to just put this? Um, we have to do it, but little by little, because uh, you, you, I mean, if you copy the whole code, um, that will not really work like that. So, um, <clears throat> can, can you open with me? Um, are you able to open uh, the homework itself, the homework text itself, okay. so that you, we are able to. So, okay, mm, what about if you okay, go to it. page three? Yeah. That that outlines to you on page three, that is, this is showing the design of the biggie bank. Am I right? Yeah. So there is two portions that you can see here on your left side, instance variables and methods. Am I right? Yeah. On the right hand side, you see a group of variables. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you able to put that um, inside the class? These private variables. Okay. Uh, did you even make them? Um...
and I just equate them all to zero or um wait not yet but um okay so first change the um, the name of your uh class please oh yeah excellent okay uh now I would like you to go to page, page, page what, page what? Okay, page six, please. Okay. What do you see in page six? Um, He's defining the, the variable. When you, yeah. What is the name of the variable? The insert, the piggy bank, bank, and then uh, new new piggy bank. Yeah, new piggy bank, and then he does all the dime, quarter, penny, nickel. Okay, so he's calling a method from inside the bank, but but yeah. that the variable name is called what? Uh, piggy bank. No, the variable okay, name is it? is bank. The the bank. Right, typically, right. Typically, when we use a string, we say string, and then we say the 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 variable name, right? So right, the, yeah, data, yeah, yeah. the data type is Biggie Bank and the variable right. name is Bank. Okay, fine. Right, right, yeah. Okay, yeah. can you write this Biggie Bank line? Only define the variable Bank inside your main method and let us see from there. So go to your main method and write that line. So, okay. Okay. Okay, can you please run? Okay. Nothing you run happens. and nothing happens. Okay. Yeah. Um so it means at least that there is no errors with our code. So everything yeah. looks fine. Okay. When okay, go to the biggie bank uh, again. Okay. So here you got no misses at all. You didn't write any yeah. message. It's only instant variables and you didn't use any of them, right? When no. just an information, when you don't provide any method inside, the no. Java itself create a default method that you cannot see. Okay? Right, and okay. It, it initialize all your instant variables automatically to zero for you. Okay? Oh, now, okay. 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 Now, uh, let me have a look here. Um, we go to page four. Okay. There is two two methods. Yeah. This should be inserted inside uh, the class Biggie Bank. So we would like to add a method insert quarter and uh, smash bank. Okay. Okay. Um, may I know, do you understand this Biggie Bank class is, is going to do what? Or what is the purpose mm. itself? What is the purpose of the software that we are writing itself? Not really. I okay. feel like it would be much easier if we just do it this way. With the methods. Method. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I understand. I understand because we, we are used to that. Um, yeah. Okay. So have a look, please, at page, page two. Mm -hmm. Can you read what is written there? The first class will be named Piggy Bank and its job will store the money that is inserted to the bank. So the Biggie Bank is just, uh, I think most of the children um, actually use it. Uh, that mm. It's like a small, um, a small, big shape, uh, uh, how to say, pl plastic shape uh, on the shape mm -hmm. of a big that the, the children use to insert coins inside it. So they call it a biggie bank, mm -hmm. and then, um, and, and sometimes I think with the Chinese they they have this uh, Buddha Buddha shape. Then they they, they always have um, a place to insert coins to save, mm -hmm. you know. So every day they insert mm -hmm. one or two coins, uh, one ringgit or two ringgit, and so on. And then maybe mm -hmm. by by three or four months, this this uh, shape is full of coins already, and then we smash it to be able to take all the money out. 
Mm. So now, did you understand no. what is the purpose of, of that? We are trying to no, simulate I, yeah. something in real, okay? Yeah, okay. I understand that, but oh, it's I, the, uh, the, the piggy course. bank that I don't, yeah, this, uh, the okay. coding, the creating separate, the public no, class and all that. No problem. Uh, no problem. It's okay. It's, 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 it's typical and it's normal. You have to understand that uh, OOP concept, you will see it in Java, in Python, in every language. It is heavy mm. concept and people do not, does not really understand why we need to bother ourselves with a more complicated mm. concept like that. But actually, mm. it is mm. quite strong and bring a lot of benefits. But mm. it takes time to realize that benefits, especially when you are writing only a simple software. Now, can you mm -hmm. look at this structure that I write it to you? I drew a structure, or actually it is really drawing. So yeah, we write yeah. here, we see here a big bank. We see here under it a, a, a few um, a rectangles. Am I yeah. right? So what yeah. is written inside the rectangles? The insert of each type of coin. Okay. And, and at the end, what is the last thing that is written? Oh, the smash bank. To, okay. Uh, so MTL, yeah. Okay, just now we read that this mesh bank will be also a method, right? Yeah. Okay, this structure that you see in front of you is common in the software and it's called um I forgot the name. Um I'm sorry, I totally forgot the name. Um mm -hmm. uh let me see. Give give me a second. I I let me check. Yeah. Let me check here. Okay, I think it's called structure or something. Yeah, it's called structure diagram. Yeah. So this structure diagram, we always use it. To, to be actually uh, uh, simplify how the software or yeah how the software will will look like uh, when we have a lot of things uh, to be done for the software like we are writing many methods in this case so we would like to see the whole picture we would like to communicate the whole design with everybody uh, when you do that with the normal way that you uh, are using while loop and normal methods, uh, you mm -hmm. are actually, it is very hard to, to try to uh, replicate that. Uh, it, to some extent, you are able to use it, but not as good when you are using classes. Okay, now, I understand. You still do not, does not re realize what is important of a class. But um, you already have seen the purpose of the biggie bank. Can you please go to page four and write these two methods that we see there, insert quarter and smash bank. Write them okay. where? Inside the class. Okay. So I write them down here, like this method. No. Uh, the boundary of your class start oh. with, with actually this two. So every, see, every method must be inside. Oh, okay. Okay, but what do I put uh, inside? Do I just leave it empty? Um, leave it empty for the moment and make the other method. Yes. Have you seen so far? Um, okay, perfect. Perfect. Slumped. Okay. Now, uh, go please to page six, please. Okay. Um, you already write the first line, which is initiating an object, and this object is uh, over is a variable called bank, right? And from bank, we um we see a lot of um, 
method calling bank dot insert dime bank dot insert quarter right mm -hmm. page four page four can you see that yeah or, okay can you please uh, just note this first line and second line and write them in your code on your in your main method insert dime insert quarter Oh, of the page six, okay. Yes. Okay, so I need to write them here. Yes, exactly. So bank dot set Okay, can you please okay. try to run, please? Run, please. What is the error? In 89. So here there's an error. Mm -hmm. Cannot find symbol. Right. Okay. Can you please comment that line first? No, okay. don't remove it. Just comment it on it. Excellent. Run, please. Okay. Then the next error should be the piggy bank. Yeah. Okay. What is... It in 15. What, what is oh, that? Uh, yeah. I need to return smash right for this in future. Oh. Um he expects to you to return an integer. No. Just return to him zero. Oh, okay. He will accept it. Okay. Okay, so it works, right? Now yeah. uh, uncomment that line. Bank dot insert dime. How come it's not okay? Yes, okay. Now, if you try to run again, he will give you an error. But yeah. why? Why he doesn't give an error with insert quarter, but he give an error with insert dime? Because we need to make an insert dime here. Exactly. Okay. So can you please make one? So should I make one for nickel and penny? Exactly. Well? Okay, yes, because if you put them also, they would show an error because you don't have a method for them here. Yes? Okay. Now I just... Oh. Okay, that should. Okay, there you go. No errors. Okay. okay, no no errors at all, right? So yeah. it means that you managed to design your class, although it doesn't right. function anything, right? Yeah. So now okay. I need to just add functions inside. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Can 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 we think again? If you have a okay. biggie bank that you want the children to put in insert a quarter inside. The, the yeah. plastic box there to save the money. So if he inserted yeah. water, what do you expect? No, uh, no, it no. will add. Wait, no? wait, wait. I, I want you to check one thing. At page five, look at there. Page five. Okay. Read page and five. look at the equation there. Right. Yeah, that's exactly what, yeah, okay. So total sense means that he need to um, multiply and add all the quarters, dimes. So we have close and to open again, please. Okay. Okay. 